Hi AGP learners, welcome to another episode of Tip Thursday. Today, I want to show you an interesting website called MedStopper. So this is accessible from our resources general page from the website. As you can see here, when you click on it, first thing it'll ask you is actually whether the patient that you're talking about is frail elderly. This is obviously relevant for clear reasons um, because this website is about trying to help you stop medications and what way to do that. So simply put, you put click whether they're frail elderly or not, um, enter the name of the drug. So for example, if we go for pregabalin, a common medication that may be used and may not be appropriate for long-term use, whether indication for using it, add it on, and it gives you a nice little summary of the priority of stopping, um, what the how it may improve things, whether it is an impact in future health, whether it can cause harm, a structured way of trying to reduce the medication and also the implications of doing so in terms of symptoms. And I also mentioned something about the stop criteria, which I'll come to in a second. You can then add on all the medications that the patient is taking and develop a plan, as you can see here. So for example, I've got a patient taking multiple medications like pregabalin, buprenorphine, paracetamol, American base, so it mentions acetaminophen uh, and zopiclone, and it gives you the priority in terms of how you do that and information on how to do it. I mentioned the uh, beer stop criteria, so it gives you information as to um, how to do it and in terms of the implications, again, in more detail. Um, and the benefit of this is that you can then print it off for the patient. So clicking here pr prints off a plan that you can give to the patient and get hopefully get them on board in terms of the appropriateness and why these medications sometimes do need to be stopped for the overriding benefit and holistic care of our patients. I hope you find this website useful. I, I use it quite a bit, particularly working in the city Nottingham and stuff. And we have obviously a lot of complex patients. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, as always, subscribe to our platform. Make sure you click on that little bell in the corner and feel free to share this through your own networks and stuff. And as always, guys, comment, share and keep EGP learning. See you later. Bye.